Guys, welcome to another episode of What's in the Box with Main Street Mower. Today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing and short review of the Toro 60 volt recycler. I've been waiting a long time for this. I'm really excited. Before we get started, I must summon it from where electricity lives. The cloud. Guys, the 60 volt is here. I've been awaiting this time for two years now. I got to go to Minnesota to Toro's headquarters the other day because here at Main Street Mower, we're a big deal with Toro. We're one of their biggest dealers in the nation. And we get to go on little trips like that, get to go to their headquarters, pretty cool. Get to walk through all the facilities, see the R&D. And while we were there, we had a special privilege to see this mower way before it was ready to go out. I got to use it back then and I've been waiting for it because it is an answer to a lot of your needs. It has the beloved recycler frame, the transmission that works well, all the heavy duty features of a normal recycler, but it's battery powered. The same frame and the same transmission as their normal gas powered mowers, which is awesome. And so it works all the same. It's not like flimsy cheap parts thrown into an electric frame. It's the beefy gas frame with a beefy electric motor with batteries, which is awesome. So let's unbox it real quick and see what's in here and see what it comes with. Wait one second. Boom, check it out. Pretty much comes exactly like this in your box. This was uh, on top of it like that, inside the box. And these were tucked up in here, in this area. But pretty compact little deal. So I'm just gonna start taking plastic off, fold the handle up, and we'll get right into it, okay? I've never unboxed one of these, I'm pretty excited. So that's nice, it has these little features here, so you don't have to worry about those little wing nuts anymore. Just, you flip a lever, and you can fold the handle. That's pretty awesome. And it has the stowing position. You can store it vertically, so you can shove it against your wall this way, or if you were to take it all the way down, you can also latch it this way, and you can store your whole mower like that against you know the wall in your garage. That's pretty awesome. It's the standard blade. That's the thick blade they have put on a normal mower. Normally you're used to seeing like aluminum for an engine, but this is hard poly plastic. Pretty standard blade driver, blade cradle, all looks normal. And it's Toro's super recycler baffling. That's awesome. All looks the same. Just battery powered. That's great. That's what I was hoping for. Cool, so I'm gonna fold this back over. Oops. Extend this all the way up. Has two height positions, so if you're tall or short, you can adjust that. And that's where the battery goes in. That's really nice. Easy to open. If it's not easy to open, make sure all this is tucked in right. But it should just open that easy. I mean, you drop your battery in. Kind of looks like a Power Ranger or something head. It looks better now than it did the prototype. I think they did a really good job with the design. And then this is your, okay, your brake lever. That's neat. Man, this seems like really easy to work on too. I mean, I'm excited just as a dealer. It looks really familiar. You know, it's not a whole bunch of wires and electric. It's, it's both manual and tangible, it has real hardy cables. Seems like legitimate, not just electric. Uh, though it is electric, but you know what I mean. It's tougher. Um, okay, so this looks normal. I'm gonna put the bag together. I don't know if you guys have ever assembled your bag. Basically, it goes on the inside, and then you kind of pry it up and over. And just go around in a circle. Doing each side as it comes. If you come to Main Street Mower, we'll unbox it for you and set all this up. You don't have to do nothing. And as, it, as will most official Toro dealers, Home Depot Lowe's will just give you a box. But that's a pretty cool thing about shopping local is that you don't have to do any of this stuff. Even though there's not much stuff to do, you won't have to do it. Okay, bag's all put together. It just goes through here. And basically you lift the back door and there's a little cradle. It's hard for you to see it from there. But basically these little pins 
are gonna set in this cradle. If you lift this, you'll push it all up flat so it mounts flush, and that's it, that's the whole bag. It does have the recycling and mulching feature. This mower, this particular model, is a 20363. This one has rear wheel drive, which is what you want in Florida, especially with the high grass and stuff, but it also has big wheels. So it's rear wheel drive with high wheels, which is awesome. So it makes cruising over grass really, really easy. Okay, so that's one thing I really like about it. it has the personal pace handle. So as you push down, that engages the, ele the transmission and it's a standard belt driven transmission just like you're used to on the Toro mowers. And basically the personal pace is as you push down, this mower will just walk right in front of you. You don't have to engage anything purposely. You're just holding the handle and as you walk, it goes and it matches your speed. That's why they call it personal pace because it goes at your pace. And if you increase your speed, it increases its speed. If you go uphill and it's harder, it'll work harder for you, which that's pretty cool. Uh, to adjust your wheel height, these level levers here. In Florida, St. Augustine grass, you're pretty much gonna mow at the highest height most of the time. I think that's a big differentiator for the Toro compared to even like the steel. We sell the steel battery powered, but it cuts higher. Look at that, that's big. Toro has like the highest cutting mower out there and they fitted it with an electric motor, which is cool. Okay, so I think what else we gotta add is the batteries. I'm gonna flip this thing around here. The side discharge chute. That's a standard feature with all the recyclers. But one thing that's really cool about it, just sticks in there and you put that down. There's, and it stays really firm. There's no like knobs, screws, tool lists, right? You don't need any tools. It just has these two little notches or holes here. And there's two little knobs on your flap and those fit inside those holes. And that holds it all tight. The reason you'd use this, say your grass is extra tall one week, you didn't get to mow uh, as soon as you should have. This allows your mower not to have to process that grass as thoroughly. It cuts it once and it shoots it out. And that way you can cut taller grass with less load on your mower. So if you ever notice your mower, even on your gas powered ones, bogging down or it's like really difficult for it to cut, you use the side discharge chute and that'll help it do it. If you cut often and your grass looks great and it's not you know four inches higher than it should be, then you can just leave the flap closed and I would just not even bag. I'd leave it in the recycling mode and that chops it up, shoots it back down. Basically helps recycle your own grass clippings back into your lawn and it kind of creates its own mulch which is gonna keep moisture in your soil. You get the water left often. Uh, Hondas don't include a side discharge chute. So that's something cool about Toro is they have a side discharge. Okay, the box. Dang, this battery is awesome. Comes in a nice ziplock. That is a nice battery. Comes with a handle. It's heavy. 60 volt rechargeable lithium ion battery pack. Has a little button here. Tells you how much charge it got. You can see here. It says it only got one bar. So it comes not charged. So if you're not mowing your grass right away, right away you're gonna have to charge it first. That's pretty standard for stuff like that. Cool. This is the charger. Pretty nice. So it has wall mounts. You can mount it in your garage against the wall. Also has little rubber feet, so you can just set it on your in your garage on the wall or on your table somewhere. Just sets there like that. And this battery pack has a nice little handle. It just slides down like that. That's pretty awesome. So once it's on here, it's charged. You just lift it up. Lift here. Ooh, the nice satisfying click. Click. Chunk. That's it, then you're ready to mow. Is it Dane? I'm gonna see if I can start over here. Ready? Oh, the button. Oh! You have to push a button to start it. It comes inside here in your manual. A little push button has like a lightning bolt symbol on it. I guess this is maybe your key or. Yeah, it's like removable. Like you can take it so your kid won't start your mower. So I'm gonna push it down. Dude, that's powerful. That sounds like a crazy shop van or something. 
that is awesome. Probably dangerous to start on the table, but pretty darn cool. <laughs> that is neat. That thing has some power. Cool. So that's the key. That's how you start it. Hmm. I can't wait to see these mowers out in the field and see how they last over time. Tora is a fantastic brand. They take fantastic care of their customers. This mower comes with a two-year mower warranty with a three-year battery warranty. And like, I guess this whole battery engine motor, I guess you'd call it part, has a three-year warranty. But like the transmission, even the belt, no warranty. The blade driver, all of these things. If any of this stuff wears out, your wheels wear out, any of these wear out, they'll cover that for two years. This has a three-year. That's pretty neat. And the battery, three years. So, I mean, if you use your mower every week, I mean, three years isn't bad life to get out of it. Most people get maybe five, six, and they're just warranting it for that, so I bet it'll last longer. Uh, it seems like a good deal. Really nice machine. I'm excited to see it out in the field. I'm so excited to use it. Guys, thanks for watching. This is Chip with Main Street Mower, and this is the Toro 60 volt recycler. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out our other unboxing videos. We have a Honda EU 2200. We have the Honda IMO. We got a couple other good things. Check it out. Have a good day. See ya.